worst thing, the lowest thing. The pigs are living better than he is. And we think of the story of the prodigal son. It's about the prodigal son, but it's really not about the prodigal son. It's about the father of the prodigal son. That's what it's about. There's nothing new about going off and messing up. We all, we all know that. That's our story, most of us. But we, you know, so it's not, that's not the strange thing. The strange thing or the striking thing is what happens with a father. This is a picture. This is about, this is Messiah, the Son of God, giving us a picture of the Father, God. That's what it is. So this is going to mean a lot coming from the Son. So it says when, it says when he, he came, he was all ready to come to his father and say, I've got, he realized, I got no rights. I have nothing. I can, I'm not even worthy of being called the, my father's son anymore. I've messed up everything. I've taken everything I have, he gave me. I, I, I dishonored him. And so I'll come back and I'll ask to be a slave of his, a servant of his, not worthy to be called a son, because at least then I'll have food. He comes back. He makes his way back ready for whatever the father is going to do, and the father may never even accept that. The father should be so mad at him. And yet, when you read that, it says, he came back, it says, so he got up, verse 20, came to his father, but while he was still a long way off in the distance, his father saw him and felt compassion for him. And he ran to him and embraced him and kissed him. The word in Greek here, the father being moved with compassion. The word is splang nid zomahi. Everybody quick. <laughs> splang. It, we believe it's linked to the word for spleen, and it means from deep inside. It's like we talk about the heart. They talked about uh, other things at, in the same way. But it means that deep within him, deep, not just compassion, deep, deep, deep compassion, feeling, love, so strong on his son when he sees his son again. You know, you want, you talk about all theology that people teach. Well, this is, this is better than most theology. It's right here. It's the heart of God. This is the real heart of God. In the prodigal son, the story, the father is the one who initiates the love, not the son. He, run, he goes to his son. And one of the things says, to take it, because we're looking at two realms. One is for fathers and the other is for all of us about the father. But fathers, it means that your leading, your role is to initiate love. You're not to be, you're not to be just the hard person or the, or the one who just, who, who just uh, is there to correct. You are there to initiate love for your family. You're to lead, not, not only in the Word and in prayer, but in love. You're the one who initiates love to your family. Uh, children are made to imitate their parents, imitate their fathers. And so, therefore, the, one of the key things that all of as parents we are to do is to be examples of God to our, to our children, that they can do that to God. You know, and for all of us, you know, we think, you know, we talk about we came to God, but what it's saying here is we didn't initiate anything. God initiated our salvation. God, it was God's idea. The reason you're here today is because God came up with that. It's not your thing. I mean, you know, you just said yes to it. I said yes to it. But it's God who came up with that. Sometimes we live our lives as if God is just a passive, you know, king in the sky or the genie in the sky that we come and we need help and we're doing our plans. It's God who's planning. It's God who's initiating. It's God's idea that we're saved, that we're here. And every time you fall, it is God who will initiate his love to you. You know, you're, you fall, you say, I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to go to God. I, I'm, I, you know, you go away. You, you walk away because you messed up. And that's the thing. That's when God is coming. You think you're not worthy to approach God, but God is already approaching you. You know, we did not come up with love. You know, you worry about your salvation and not that you, there, there, there is a holy reverent, reverential fear and soberness that you won't want to step outside. You don't want to mess with sin. You don't want to chance that. But Remember something to give you some peace. Before you were worried about your salvation, before you even cared about salvation, God was the one who came up with it. So God is the one who cares more about your salvation than you do. God initiates. It's our part to let God's thing happen. Our salvation, it's the only faith in the world that's not about trying to go to God. It's about God going to you, coming to you. And one of the, so one of the best things we can do is let God, it's about letting God have his way. Because he's already initiating it. He already has blessings to initiate in your life. 
but it's for you to let it happen. That's it. And so notice here what happened. It says he saw his son. Now he could have just stayed there. He could have maybe take, you know, take the initiative to walk. It doesn't say he walked. It says he ran. Now every word means something here. He ran. That's, what it, that's the picture of God. You don't usually picture God running. You know, you can, some of you can barely picture God walking to you. It'd be God is over there and you have to try to go to him. But it says he ran. Now there's a reason why Messiah would say something. He, every, everything he's choosing here to tell you about God, your father. You know, you know he, he's, he's probably an older man and he's running. You know, you care if you're a father the way God made you if you're a good father. You care if your child is hurting or, or sad. You want to rush to it. You want to find out immediately what the problem is. We were giving a bath to our two sons, Eliel and Diel, and, and uh, suddenly Eliel said, I'm scared, I'm scared. And we said, what are you scared about? What, what are you scared about? He said, I'm scared of spiders. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of some dark places. I'm scared of... He went through this whole list. We, we thought there was an emergency. He just... Was whole, well, if you think your child is in trouble... Any good parent is going to do, you hear your child scream, you run. Well, why do you think that God is any different? God is better, not worse. You know, fathers are to be quick to bless, quick to show love, because children need that. Quick to be saved from danger. Fathers, this is a picture of God for all of us. It's, not, it's, a, it's enough that he doesn't judge us, that he, he has, well, he could, and he, but he's given us salvation. He paid the price. It's enough that he forgives us but that he, his love runs. It's passionate love. And you know, we, you know we, we sin, we fall, your child falls, you run. He runs to us. You may not see it, you may not know it, but he runs. That's what a, that's what a father does when his child falls. His love doesn't walk, it runs. It means it's all his heart. Run. Sometimes you feel God is far away. Look at this picture. It means, what it means is in the same way, if you receive that... 